Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, we've been tagged by two channels, Rob over at SNS Family Garden and Calvin and Marie over at Southern Country Living. They tagged us in a 10 question pandemic um, challenge and we're gonna try and answer those questions for you today. If y'all would go over and check Rob out at SNS Family Garden. Uh, yeah, I believe y'all enjoy his uh, channel. Uh, he does a lot of uh, gardening. He has a really great garden, a big garden, plants a lot of different vegetables and got fruit trees and things. And also he does a lot of cooking and uh, really enjoys his channel, y'all. So check him out and uh, give him some support. Now, y'all need to check out Calvin Marie also, y'all. Uh, we really enjoy their channel. Uh, Calvin, he, he loves woodworking and he does projects there out there in his shop sometimes. Also, he's got a garden. He loves gardening, has a great garden every year. And uh, also does cooking videos along with his wife, Marie. Uh, Marie does some great cooking videos. Uh, if you if you want to try something new, check her channel out because she's always cooking something different. Always making a great dessert, y'all, to go along with their meals. And I done tried a couple of them. They're real good. I know you won't be disappointed, so y'all go over and check them out. You'll be glad that you did. That's not like a commercial, did it? <laughs> I really mean it, y'all. I, I really mean it. But we're going to go ahead and get started on the uh, 10 questions. The first question is, how many rolls of toilet paper do I have? So I'm going to let Tasha tell you about that. We have 80 rolls of toilet paper in our home. Really? We do. That's a great job. Because I can go ahead and start throwing all this <laughs> newspapers away that I've been collecting over here because I thought we were going to run out. <laughs> <laughs> now, for real, y'all, until this happened, we probably always had maybe two packages or, you know, toilet paper or something like that. Maybe just one uh, package. But, uh... Since all this took place, you know, I said people love toilet paper, so I love toilet paper. So we didn't go out and do no kind of, you know, panic buying, y'all. We just went out there. When we go buy groceries, we buy, you know, a thing of toilet paper. And so we started, you know, put into our preps. We never prepped for toilet paper. Who knew, y'all? I didn't know. I do now. <laughs> I won't run out no more, y'all. We didn't run out, y'all, but, you know, we could have. People kept buying our toilet paper. <laughs> all right question number two what has been my biggest change since lockdown okay one of our biggest changes would be not having to get up and uh, get the kids ready for school and and also just school work uh we're having to help with the school work now summer she's you no know, smart she does that most uh, sometimes she needs a little help but Austin, you know, we're going to make sure, you know, that he's getting uh, the school that he needs and we're helping him with that. And, uh, but we've been enjoying having him here at home with us. You know, it's been a lot of fun. So, uh, really, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. No headaches yet, y'all. <laughs> All right, number three. Uh, what am I most grateful for? What am I most grateful for? What, well... I'm grateful nobody's been sick since this has been going on. Um, thankful that we haven't had no kind of no financial hardship. You know, a lot of people was out of work. Tasha, she's been furloughed off her job, but we've been blessed financially that you know, you know, we haven't had no trouble. You know, still been able to pay our bills. Pay our bills and uh, have plenty of food mm -hmm. to eat. You know, and uh, real thankful that you know a lot of people lost their jobs. Uh, can't buy food like they used to, and a lot of them having food shortages, and a lot of them having to go to food banks to get food. So uh, that's one of the things you know we're real thankful for. That we, you know we've had no issues uh, since it's been going on. All right, uh, number four. Why have I gone without lately? You want to answer that? We said uh, going to um, the Mexican restaurant. We enjoy going out eating at the Mexican restaurant uh, sometimes, maybe month, every month or month and a half. We we eat a lot here, obviously, but you know it it, it does you know uh, do good for us to go out and eat sometimes. And we enjoy going out eating Mexican food, y'all. And she cooks it here, but it, it don't taste so good. Now I'm kidding, Tosh. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. It does taste. It tastes real good, y'all. Y'all see how good it tastes. 
but uh, no, you know, we, we we do enjoy going out and, and uh, it always tastes better, y'all. Oh, she's gonna hit me again. <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying, Tosh. It does taste better. You got some else cooked. So anyway, that's 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 something. Anyway, I'm going to next question before I get hit over here, y'all. <laughs> Uh, this the next question number five. What am I missing the most? That's the hardest question because we had to think about hard, and she can't really come up with nothing really because it we we haven't really been missing it. Not much change, y'all, for us. You know, we uh we still do what we've always done for most part anyway. But I started thinking real deep about this question. Uh, I miss. The thing, way things were before all the re regulations and restrictions were put on us. And uh, to clarify what I'm talking about, you know, uh, our state parks, you know, you can't go fishing, you can't go out there, you know, in the boat fishing, something like that, you know. Um, uh, burn, we can't go out there and burn stuff. They put like a burn ban restriction on us. So just things sometimes we take for granted, you know, it makes you think, you know, how thankful you know you have it you know living in a free country you know we don't want to lose them rights y'all and that's why it's important to go out and vote to uh, stand up for what you believe in to let your voice be heard uh, to, st to uh, you know stand and and defend our constitution uh, you know it's very important to you know uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to preach or tell somebody what to do. I, I'm talking about me, y'all. It, it's important for me. I mean, it's important to live in a free country. I'm thankful for all the veterans who's died and fought for our country and our forefathers who died for, you know, to give us the rights we have. And we shouldn't take them for granted, you know. And, it, it, you know, this question is, you know, that's all I have to think of, y'all. Just uh, being thankful that we live in a free country and 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 we got to make sure it stays a free country. We don't never want to uh, live in a country that's not free, because uh, you know uh, what what our forefathers died and fought for would be in vain. So it's very you know it's 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 uh, it's important to me y'all you know living in a free country. So that's what I miss most. Not saying we don't live in a free country, but just these restrictions and regulations really starts making me think about you know the privilege that we have and how good it is to be able to do things walk out your door without you know having to think about well can i go to the store today or um can i go fishing oh well, i can't do that so you know it, it you know it got me thinking about that y'all all right number six when was the last time i was at a campsite so I can't remember that, but I had to ask her about it, so she knows the answer to that, y'all. We said it was about five years ago. Um, Austin was about a year and a half. And she said also, you said we went to a lot of different um, parks, campsites that year. We, we did. did a lot of camping. And when we were younger, we did a lot of camping, y'all, uh, before the kids come along. And uh, really did a lot of camping. Actually, did a uh, bottle of camper and stuff. Did a lot of camping for two years about two years but uh, you know we're gonna start doing it again because uh, you know kids getting a little bit older and it's just a little harder to plan around it you know uh, especially when they're in school so uh, that's one last time about five years ago that, that sounds bad too it sounds like a really long time so question number seven what is my favorite quarantine food so we decided fish since we've been, you know, in this lockdown situation, fish. Uh, we've, we've ate a lot of different things, but re really enjoy trying to at least once a week catch some fish out of pond and have a fish, a catfish supper. It's been real good. So that's going to be uh, probably favorite food since we've been locked down. Number eight, how am I exercising and working out? Well, y'all, it's real simple. Uh, we're trying to lose weight and uh, we've been working in the garden and uh, been doing a lot of walking down the road. And uh, we probably walk between three and six miles a day, uh, walk in the morning time and walk in the evening time. If the weather permits, we do anyway. So uh, that's how we're getting our exercise. Uh, question number nine is what has been or will be my pandemic panic purchase? I know y'all, y'all probably thinking toilet paper. 
but we don't panic. We, we you no, know, we don't panic about stuff. You know, we try to prepare for things, and um, we uh, we was uh, was, was a little bit uh, uh, caught off guard, y'all, with toilet paper. Uh, you know, who, who knew that it was gonna be so popular? I didn't know. I didn't know. But you know, you know, we didn't panic about it. But to answer your question, it's meat. Uh, prices of meat is going up. Uh, pork, you know, facilities are processing, shutting down. You know, they're saying you know, it could be a shortage in the future. Who knows, y'all? You know, a lot of speculation on things. Sometimes you just got to use common sense about things. So what we've been doing when we go buy our groceries, uh, we try to go uh, once a week. Uh, we have been uh, twice a week, but generally we try to live about once a week. We uh, been buying extra meat, uh, putting it in the freezer, and also we're going to be doing some uh, canning, uh, some chicken and stuff. So what we've been buying is chicken and pork, and uh, we've been buying a little beef, not not so much, but uh, so that's the answer to that uh, meat, y'all. Uh, but I don't feel like we panic about it. We just preparing. So. Question number 10, what five channels will I tag? Okay, y'all, I had to think about this. We're gonna tag five channels and it'd been easier to tag 10 channels just because, you know, it'd been easier because, you know, it's hard to figure out which uh, five. So I kind of thought about it while, just which ones I kind of want to hear what's been going on with them. So here we go. Uh, the first channel is gonna be Duke at Rough Cut Homestead. Now Duke, uh, he's a really nice gentleman. Uh, he raises uh, chickens, rabbits, uh, he loves gardening, uh, he's growing a garden right now, uh, he loves fishing, uh, he just enjoys talking about different things going on, you know, in the world today, uh, just a real good guy, uh, real down to earth, he loves the Lord, I do too, and I, that's what, you know, I really like about him, uh, he's not, he's not afraid to say it, and uh, if y'all would check his channel out, I, I appreciate it. Uh, the the number two channel is going to be Rick from Old Camp Ranch, and um, I really watch, enjoy watching Rick. If you ever having a bad day, y'all, or just need a good laugh or pick me up, check Rick out. He has a way of making you laugh, uh, just very humorous and uh, just just really funny, you know. And I enjoy, you know. I, and plus, besides that, y'all look he. He has a garden, he does gardening, he has a hot house, has a lot of great vegetables growing pretty much year round. It seems like lettuce is different type of green uh, uh, leafy plants. Things I don't plan, I never planned for, but if y'all would check him out, just a real good guy. Uh, the third channel is gonna be Joy at My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. Um, y'all know I like hunting, deer hunting, and uh, Joy does too. So. What Joy likes doing is putting videos out, y'all, of deer that he catches on his camera. And he puts a lot of them out and really enjoy watching that. Also, they uh, they enjoy camping and also cooking videos. And he also is gardening. And um, did, did, I, did I mention the outside cooking? He does uh, like campfire cooking videos too. So if y'all like that kind of thing, uh, like I do, uh, check his channel out. I know you'd enjoy it. And the fourth channel is going to be Little Beans Garden. Uh, Zuli over there. Uh, I hope I pronounced your name right. If I didn't, I apologize. Um, she's a great, great, friendly person. Um, I've been watching her channel on and off, but more recently, uh, you know, so many. Uh, it's hard to watch all the channels, y'all. But. Uh, you know, I, I, I come, uh, you know, from here, you know, and there, watch different ones, but uh, I really started watching her channel recently, and she's, she is so friendly, and she she does uh, gardening videos, y'all, and her garden is, is, is I can't, she lives in California, and she does a lot of different things in the garden, she has a lot of different things that I, I don't plan in my garden, never have, and, uh, if y'all like that kind of thing, I'd recommend y'all going and checking her channel out. I know you enjoy it. She's a super sweet person. And my last channel is going to be Brandon at Ecuador Homestead. Now y'all, uh, Brandon, he, he lives in Ecuador. 
hence his uh, channel name. And he's just a young man, but you know, I, I say he's older than his age. I don't know how old he is, but uh, he's uh, very, you know, wise for his age. He does a lot of different things, uh, got a lot of knowledge about different things. He shares with a lot of different things they plant over there in Ecuador, different things that we don't plant. Uh, he also has different animals they keep over there, like sheep, chicken, guinea pigs, uh, beekeeping. Uh, he just has a lot of different things on his channel. And uh, he's a smaller channel like we are. And he's trying to grow his channel. If y'all would, just go over and give us some support. And uh, we appreciate it. So uh, that wraps up, y'all, this video for the most part on this channel. Which I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, hope it hasn't been too long. Uh, I have a way of uh, letting time fly by with me sometimes. But um, hope it's been fun, entertaining to you. Hope you learned a little bit of something about us there. And uh, as always, from my family to yours, friends, y'all have a blessed day. And y'all stay safe. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.